All right, Isaac, pay attention. We need to enter this base from right here. And I've scoped it out and they're very unlikely to see us from this angle. Got it? After that, we're gonna make a secret base right here. And according to my calculations, the map should be pretty close to us. All we have to do is find it and extract it. Okay, so it's just out in the open like that? Why are you even stressed? That seems pretty easy to me. No, it's not that simple. They got it hidden inside of a chest and there's gonna be a lot of security around it too. Well, how are we supposed to get it then? Simple. First, we have to ask chat to allow us to come review their bases. Step two is to wait for our target to ask us to come review her base. And step three, once we finally make it to her base, you distract her with a fake base review while I head downstairs to start working on our secret base. Okay, I got her to go upstairs, Zach. You need to make a base down here. Okay, we've got a couple random items down here. I'm gonna take pretty much everything I can. I'm just stalling for as long as possible right now. Like, I know the rating for this base. It's like a 30 out of 100, but I'm not gonna tell her that until we get enough time for Loverfella to set up a base. The smartest thing to do is to live here for as long as I can without getting caught secretly and try to watch her and see if she gives us any signs of where this item might be. So, what is that noise I just heard? What is Zach doing down there? The base owner seems really suspicious of that, to be honest. So, we really need to try hard not to bring her down there. Okay, listen, I'm below you. I don't think she knows I'm down here. I have no idea where the map is, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start digging down and we're going to try to live underneath this grassy area down here. I'm going to rate the base and then I'm going to leave to spawn Zach and then you're going to send out a teleport request to bring me back. Give me like another like two minutes. I need another two minutes to get started. Okay, I rated it 65 out of 100. I'll leave soon. So I can't really dig down. My only thought process is maybe I could get the water to flow down, swim out of it and then start building. Like this is so ridiculously difficult. This is like, this might as well be mining through obsidian right now. I might have needed more than two minutes. Please don't be another layer. Oh, okay. Just like that. Okay. Okay. All right. Very easy does it. And we're drowning. I've never drowned in a waterfall before. Okay. We got everything that we need set up. I'm going to plug this in now with some sandstone. Base is secured. Teleport when ready. Okay. So Isaac, we, let's get a little bit working on here on this base before we figure out what's going on with this map up there. Do you have me any blocks? Because I, I'm basically naked right now. I have no way to even get out of here. Here's what I got you. Some leather, couple pieces of wood, some endstone bricks, 19 fences, 10 magma cream, and a stack of carrots and some lanterns. That's a lot more than I thought you'd have. That's actually really good. We got enough to get some light. And I do have some fences, so I might as well like block us off from falling. Why don't we expand that way too? It's like more dark, more safe. I think I have just enough wood to make a ladder too, which will make our entrance to the base a little bit easier. That's actually an intelligent idea. There we go, three ladders, and we'll put those right up here. I assume this is the way you got down here. Listen, I got one more ladder. That means I can break this. The water will not fall down. We can get out easily into her base and she's not downstairs. All right, stay down, stay down, stay down. I'm going for another robbery. Okay, try to get us some tools. We need to be able to get in and out of the base faster. Oh, baby, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Isaac, I got, get down, get down. I got so much stuff. Oh, this is the perfect spot. You put it in the water. I love that. Listen, I just got some really good items. Two tropical fish, five puffer fish, two magma cream. Those are terrible. What are you talking about? Wait, three raw salmon. You just brought us a bunch of raw meat. We can't even cook it. Oh, bro, two raw and slabs. What? We need some cobblestone, otherwise we're gonna starve to death. I can't be eating raw fish. Let's give this base a little bigger and then let's go up there and actually see where, see what's going on. Maybe even establish where the map's at, where she's hiding it or whatever. And you know what, Zach? This is a little old home invading tip, but get yourself some leather boots on. Hide your footsteps. Oh, why not full leather? I mean, we have all this leather. Might as well deck ourselves out. And we need a way to make a little bit of cash, just enough to buy it, just a couple blocks. We don't need to be rich, but if we could make some money, Isaac, wouldn't that be crazy? I mean, you did steal almost 64 golden carrots. Those might be worth some money. All right, I just listed the golden carrots for $2,000. Now, I think, Isaac, we should start breaking up. Let's go. Hey, where's the base owner, though? She's right up there to the right, moving around quite a bit. Looks like, oh, they're in the farm. I was actually up there when I toured. We don't have a way to get up there from down here very easily. Here's a ladder right here, right here. Yeah, yeah, ladder, ladder. Hey, man's already invaded the whole bottom of the base. Okay, she's up here somewhere. She's right around the corner. I know, I know, this is risky. She might be AFK. Zach, I think maybe you should just open up the bottom chest and then we'll make our escape. She's, oh, oh, careful, careful. Oh, Don't moving come around, moving around. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. I broke into the mushroom and I have a perfect little hiding spot in here. That's actually pretty smart. I see your feet. I'm going to get one single chest open. Whoa, bro. That was really loud, dude. I might leave. I don't even want to be near you. That was so loud. She's right there. Oh my gosh, she's right in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This is one of those that in reality makes you feel so nervous you're about to throw Go, up. Come back now. Get she out just of here. left, come back. We're not risking it. <laughs> that was disgusting. Okay, so we need to get diamonds or we're not even gonna have a chance to get that. But the good news is, Isaac, is she's rich. I got a entire stack of gold blocks. Did you get us wood? Cause really we need wood for a Oh, chest. wait, 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 no. I just remembered gold is worthless on this skyblock server, isn't it? Okay, but that's fine because we can use those to build with and we'll live in style down here. I guess so, yeah. I'll give you half a stack of it. I also got some bone blocks because that, that was in there too. Wait, bone blocks are good because we can dye our armor with that. Perhaps white armor. Well, we don't want to do white though because none of the floor up there is white. It's just you, right? Look at this. I made white armor. You know what though? Honestly, that looks pretty gray, even though it's white. Okay, throw me some of that. I might as well go to the white too. 
We need some better tools, Zach. Right now I'm using gold, but you know what? We're getting the roof expanded. I, I am gonna go up there and see if I can steal anything else, because like, that is a big issue. Try to get us some more bone blocks. All right, things are getting, oh, what is this? Whoa, look at this. There's like a secret underground area with all this magma cream, probably from a magma spawner that was once there, or maybe it's no longer working. If I sell all of this, these are worth 500 each. That brings us to $9,000. Right, we're making great progress though. Look at this. We almost have the entire ceiling changed over and it's all a cohesive base now. Mushrooms, mushrooms, arrows, more obsidian. Uh, I'll take a furnace and a bucket. Oh, there she is. Okay, and we're back, we're back, we're back, 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 back. Welcome back, what'd you get? I got a furnace. Okay, you know what though? That is pretty big because we need to cook up this fish, except we don't really have any wood. Can you not get us some wood up there? That's kind of what we need. Well, that's what I tried, but she came back. You really, you really actually decorated this for absolutely no reason. That's nice. Well, it's we, you always need a nice base, yeah. The water is an avenue into her base. So over there, do you see the water coming down? If we bridge to the water, we might be able to ride those up for a second entrance point. Do we have enough blocks for that though? Because I'm kind of low. You're using gold as our bridge, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rethink this. You took until I was that far out to notice? I didn't notice. I was watching your sixth. Break it all. I, my pickaxe is bad. Go go break it. Go break it. Go break it. My pickaxe is bad too. It's going to break. Oh boy. I didn't think for a second they were exposed like this. Okay, bridge plan needs adjusted. It's okay. Needs to come back to right about, I'd say, about here to be safe. Gosh, disaster averted though. I thought we were in trouble there. There's this overhang here that comes down and it's going to expose us no matter what we do. I don't know how we get over there without that. Go bridge. I'm going to close off that gap and then we're going to knock. See it. Okay, here's the area right here that I'm concerned about, Isaac. I'm gonna get this thing, I'm gonna do some work up here on this. So I'm gonna replicate this little fence design that I did. And we're just gonna put some lanterns hanging off of this too. I think it looks really good for some reason. This is a nice corner lighting feature. I'm gonna use andesite. I'm gonna go ahead and make a wall of andesite right here. And I'm gonna make it too tall, I think. And then it should block off all the fences that would view us from this angle. Operation top seal is secure. And now I realize that I, there's a balcony there. And if she ever comes to that balcony and looks over, she's gonna see our path. Oh, so you're gonna try to seal up that one up there too. That's like the main level though. I think I have to. Can you buy us some wood with all that money you got? Look over by that iron. It's all dark over there. We oh. bridge over to that and then we can ladder up. I think if you spend all your money on a stack of 64 wood, that'll have us settled down here for a while. Two wow. stacks, two stacks, one for each of us. Here you go. Don't let it fall in. Don't let it fall in. All right, I'm getting a bunch of sticks made up so we can make enough ladders to reach that iron ore that we just saw. Isaac, get up here quick. Bring some blocks. Wait, that is not how I was going to do it, but I like how you did that. It's just a staircase. That's actually not that bad though, because all you got to do is bring cobblestone up right there and I don't think right. they're going to notice. Do you have cobble? I have one single one. Okay. It's very expensive. I'm broke. I bought 14. I have no more money. We're completely out of money. But listen, I put a block here. We parkour over to it. We parkour over again. Now we're back on this floor. The base owner isn't here. Oh, Isaac, this is the, this is, we're good. Come here. Come here. The base owner's right there. Oh, oh my gosh. Thought we were good. Turns out we weren't. Isaac, we need to seal this off right here. Coming back down. I just don't want to make any footsteps. She's right next to wait, me. Wait, 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 wait. I put a crafting table over here. I can make myself a stone axe. This is the type of stuff you got to celebrate when you're living inside of somebody's base. It's that difficult up here. Okay. This is kind of an unused area though. So I'm not too worried about this. Not just that we seal off and we take a little piece of the land with us. You see what I'm saying? There we go, Isaac. Now we not only have access to our main island where we can actually mine ores, but we also have an entire wraparound base up here. Oh, you're getting some work in, buddy, aren't you? I know, we're getting a lot of area over here. And we can break all this stone right here and get a bunch of blocks. Wait, what is that noise? Right above us, right above us. Get some lights placed, get some lights placed. You're always so careful in these, Isaac. It's about being confident. I could probably put a torch down. I could put a torch down, but I'm not doing anything else. Yes, sir. Just mine my very first iron ore, guys. That's one step closer to getting diamond, to getting that map. That's really all it is. I wonder if you can see this bridge from down there. Potentially what we want to do is seal this off like this, Isaac, yeah? That is nice. This is crazy. We are snaking underneath this player's base right now after the item. You know how creepy it must feel to have a really rare Minecraft map and have nobody know, like did not realize that you have two people about to try to steal it. Isn't that crazy? This is the mob spawner, but this is also the base island that she built on, which means there's ores everywhere. So I think if we go up a little. Wait a minute, furnace right here, smoker. Oh, in that case. Oh, are we right underneath the chest room? Hold on a minute. No, <gasps> put it back, put it back, put it back. This is tricky because we don't want them to catch us. So we need to create a trap door that doesn't allow light through, which means Isaac, I'm going to go get some wood. I know where I can make money real quick. I'll be back. I'm in the chest right below their base and I just got a spider spawner. That, that's actually useless for us. So I'm not even gonna take that, but I am gonna take ender pearls. Those could be our way into the base actually. Nothing else in here looks like it would really help us. So I'm just gonna cover back up the chest. I should make enough money to be able to buy enough trap doors from the dark wood to seal that off. Then we'll have easy access to that area. So let's go ahead and sell all this magma cream. That takes us to $5,500. So we need, I would say, what do you think? Dark? Dark wood? I would say a dark oak trapdoor would be pretty good. Maybe even spruce would be fine. Look, 
Break it, place it, bam. That still lets light through though. No, no, it's not about light, it's about movement. It's okay about light. But if they see us, if they see us moving, it's over. You know what I'm saying? So we have access to a couple chests here, but I still don't have any iron. We still don't have any diamond, and we still have no way to get to that chest without getting caught. So Isaac, I have a solution. Is it gonna involve invading? Because that's kind of what I'm waiting to do. It is, follow me. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, careful, careful. Come on, come on, come on. Come up, but be careful. Come up, but don't. Don't come up, but come up. You understand? Do I come up or not? Don't, don't come up, but be here. No, Isaac, she's building obsidian around the map. She's encasing it in obsidian. Who does that? Dude, that means we gotta get diamonds now. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to get through that. You're good, you're good, you're good. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. You're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, stack of 64 can, oh my goodness. Look at this, Isaac, a stack of 64 iron. I don't like this, let's get out, let's get out, out. We got enough iron now to actually create full iron tools and I also, oh, close that, close that. I hate these guys, wandering kill traders em. are the worst. Always kill them, get back in the hole. You're gonna give us away if you make noise down here, dude. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Here we go, look, 20 cooked pork chops for you. We have 64 coal to load into that thing. We have a stack of stone. Can you make our classic boat chest, maybe? I only have seven planks, I don't know about you. You can't, but I can. Hey, Zach, eat one of these. These are actually one of the best food sources in Minecraft. I can tell you that's not true. No, it is, trust me, trust me, trust me. Dang, okay, never mind. you threw it off the edge. Okay, we're gonna get a full set of iron tools finally after an immensely long waiting period, which means now, theoretically, I could break in and steal a map. Problem is, it's so slow with iron, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time ever by myself to do that, pull it off. All right, I'm gonna have to plug up my hole because I am not coming back this way. We have got to get over to the water because me and Loverfella have a grand plan on how to get into this base, and it involves ender pearls. that's all I can say. We're into the level of the base that we've been to before. This is where we've been doing all our invading right now, and our secret base is actually right below us right here. Here. Okay, I just found a bunch of blocks of lapis. These are gonna be perfect for what I need to do because I'm gonna need a lot of blocks today. I'm wondering if we just pillar up on this backside, we can hide in the farm that we saw when we were base touring. And that might get her a little suspicious, but that's gonna have to be okay for us. Yes, this is underneath the base. This is gonna become a carrot farm. Since these do take several real life days to pull off, we'll be able to grow this overnight. And it's not gonna be a massive amount of money, but it should be enough that we make just a little bit of profit. Oh, she's coming down. Oh my gosh, there's no chance now. I don't have any time to actually clear this out, I don't think. We're just gonna try to break as much as we can and we'll leave a few. Maybe she'll just think she did that. This is super risky. The base owner is right below me into the chest room and I'm gonna try to, <gasps> she's coming back up, she's coming back up. No way. I think I gotta fall down, guys. This is a disaster. Uh, that, that's risky right there because as I'm peeping out, I can see there's some sort of bamboo farm. If they ever walk to this ledge, they're gonna be able to see us down here, which is a concern, but I'm going to have to risk it. At some point, you gotta take these risks. And so I don't know what's gonna happen, but we've gotta do this. We've been waiting here for a long time, guys. I think the time is now. She just went back downstairs. This is our only chance. Okay, she's in the chest. You know what? I'm just gonna risk it and hope she doesn't hear it. It's hard to hear it through the chest. Oh my gosh, where's she at, where's she at, where's she at? Okay, behind me. Where's that water? We've got to get in that. I swear it was over here. Oh, it's right here. Okay. We're going to break the fence and replace this, and we're going down. Okay. This is what all of our hard work has come to, guys. We're going to bring down this now and build a platform for the ender pearls to land on. That's what this whole mission's been about. It's getting another way into the base all the way to the... Now, for some reason, the water stops right below me, so we got to be careful not to fall out of the world while doing this. We've got the backboard. The ender pearls can clearly hit here now. We need to get rid of the lapis tower that we just built, so I'm going to go to the top and just dig straight down on it. Oh! He's putting lapis blocks in there because they're blue and they blend in so you can't see them. That's pretty clever. Isaac, are you ready for the play? Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes! Perfect, it works. Yes, that was genius. Now all we can do is climb up on the side. Bro, not only does this get you to the top of the base just like that, it also gets you protection from all the sugar cane here. Okay, Zach, this is perfect, but I left some lapis on the other side of this and we need to break that or the base owner's gonna see it. Move it in, move it in. Downstairs, downstairs. No, 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 go straight, go straight. Water. Wait. Oh, the base owner's right below us. I know. Woo. Okay, the lapis should be straight in front of you, down to the right, down to the right. I can see it from here. It's literally one, it's straight down from you. Yep, oh. Right there. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get rid of that. So I had to leave that there to get up. Can you see her? I, I can, I see her shoulder, but I don't know where she's looking. I'm straight above her. I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. You have ender pearls to get out. No, you left some, you left some. Oh, no, really? I think it's fine though. It's it's behind the wall. I don't think she's gonna notice it. It's too risky to go back for it. Oh, I gotta figure out how to get back down there. I'm pretty sure I can just swan dive. I don't know, dude. You gotta get back down here and I gotta break those blocks somehow. I think I found a way. Okay, yep. Okay, open the water for me. I don't remember which corner it is. I'm in the water pool. You're good, right here. Whew, well, you got a farm going down here too. This place is looking nice. 
We did do some a little bit of lighting improvement around the base just so we could see a little bit better. So guys, we need to get more entrances into the base, Isaac, because why? Because we need diamond. And the best way to get diamond is to sneak up there, grab it, come back down, and hopefully we can get into that obsidian without getting caught. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she's in the chest right above us. Wow, that's close. We build out this way underneath a giant line and then we could wrap around the backside get up and see if there's any chests on the outside and that'll give us like maybe four ways in we've got to that's the only way all right go 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 build 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 yeah if you got some shears this is a genius dude all right i'm going in operation shear wish me luck here here here, here. i'm gonna place it up but we're gonna have to make this look a little more natural here too right i think so oh, oh gosh did you fall Ladders, 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 ladder me. What a wild idea by Isaac today with one of the craziest stealth I've ever seen, the stealth ladder. Do you think this looks obvious, Isaac? Give me a quick, quick view check. You're still good, but it does look obvious right now, but that's because you haven't had enough time to blend it yet. You gotta just make it look like a tree. Oh, it's starting to look better already. You are currently next to the obsidian, but the concern here, guys, is the obsidian's gonna be so loud, the base owner would hear us breaking it. I don't wanna try to break into that yet. It's gonna take way too long with iron tools. This is interesting. I didn't realize how exposed our base was once I got up on this tree. Like straight there, if she comes to the sugar cane, she's gonna be able to see our ladder. You can't only be so stealthy when you're floating in an island with somebody. Hold on, careful, careful. She's at like eye level with us. Careful. See you, you can, can see, see her through this. the leaves. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look she at her, would, you can just see her head. <laughs> she could see us. Zach, stop breaking. Hold on, hold on, just. Oh my gosh, I'm literally looking at her. Remember guys, if you can hear them, they can hear you. I can hear her placing, so she can hear me placing. Oh, oh it's rain raining. is good, that's great. rain's and good, that's Isaac, great. These blocks sound like rain, listen. Yeah, I know, this is great. Nobody can ever hear anything in rain. Guys, with the rain, she's been upstairs for a minute with the secret base and Isaac looking out. I feel pretty comfortable that I can get in there now. Maybe take it with a little bit of iron. Obviously it's risky, but I'm gonna try. How long does it take with iron? I mean, it's like a minute, right? It takes forever. Know. Is she still up there? Okay, she's down low and I don't know where. Be careful. It's all about patience, folks. Now's my window. Isaac, call her out when she comes. She's up top, she's up top. Go down, go down. Hold on, I'm making a quick emergency escape hatch. I'm in. Are you breaking? I'm trying to. Oh, she's coming, she's coming. Oh, is she? She is. Okay, Zach, get abandoned, out, get out, abandoned, now, abandoned, now, 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 Did you get anything broke? Dude, I don't even know if I got halfway into that. Oh my gosh, iron is way too slow. Oh my god. Is someone at my island? Isaac? <laughs> Did you just <laughs> get us caught? Oh, I'm stuck up top now, too. Okay, we're gonna go for a swan dive right now. I think this is our only chance. <sighs> we got safe. We're back down below the base. I don't know where Loverfella is, but I'm gonna regroup at the bottom here, back down in our original base in the bones. Bro, made it back. Yeah, I barely made it back. Do you have any dirt, by the way? Because I did get a sapling off of that, and I kind of want to get a cherry blossom down here. I can only afford three blocks of dirt. And let's go make a, make a little platform for it. Yeah, I'm going to make an awesome little tree area. That looks like the most wimpy cherry blossom tree I've ever seen in my entire life, but I don't even care because I'm going to use a ladder and use this as my new way up to the top. What do you think of this? I'm just kind of encasing the farm because I feel like the less visible it is, the more likely we are to be safe. It's time, Zach, that we get back in that base, though. We need more items. Maybe you go this way and I'll try the ender pearl route, huh? Hopefully I don't miss it. It's a pretty tough shot. Bam! So guys, what we're gonna do here is once you climb up, I don't want there to be a light. And then if we break that, it'll be a nice walkway for us in. And then we can kind of hide through the potato crops as we move in. This is a really, really good stealth area. I wanna get away into this little area. So I'm gonna break these two cobblestones here and hopefully she won't hear us. Okay, this is perfect. I don't know what this little room is right here, but now it's our little hiding headquarters right here. I don't know if she just saw me. It almost looks like she's AFK or something cause she didn't move, but man, we were like on top of her there. That could have been terrible. Upstairs has been cleared. There's literally nothing up here except this chest and a giant farm, but it is the absolute ultimate way to get in and out of this base. Thing is, there's no way I could get down there. I'm gonna pop back down. I think I'll leave the fence and then we'll ender pearl back home and hopefully Isaac gets some more blocks. I'm really just looking to sell them food that I got. We might get a little greedy here and move up into our previously cut open mushroom just to try to work up into the base more. I'm holding my breath in real life right now. We're like three blocks away from her hiding behind the chest. I was trying to get a visual on Loverfella, but I don't know where he went. Oh, she's in that chest right now. I just realized it might be the time to sneak back around her and get over to here. Look at this guys. This is masterfully done by me. Expert home invade right there. Okay, we're now to the new chest and I haven't actually got a look in these yet. Oh crap, she just got out of the chest. Where's she going? Look at 
this right now. Okay, the base owner's right above me. We're just gonna choose a random chest, open it up, and take whatever we can find. I don't even know what I just got there, but I'm gonna get back. It's not worth the risk. We've been here too long. We got some enchanted books. I should have maybe taken a little bit longer to see which ones I got, but you know what? I will take it. Isaac, you almost back? Let's see. We have protection and sharpness and paling. So it's like some fishing books. None of these are useful. So I'll see if I can get some money on these. Like I'll just sell them for like a thousand each. It doesn't really matter. Seven coal. Woo! That's a nice little, nice little grab right there. Nice little steal. Strength to honey bottle. I'll take that sign. I feel like I could sell a lot of this leather. 129 each. That's some good money. This is super exposed from the right. That's why we need to bring all these leaves down just a little bit further. The base owner seems like they're pretty far away, so it might be the perfect time now. Sometimes you just gotta go without thinking. That's not good. Oh no, that's not good. There's a chest. Oh, no way. I can't believe it, bro. No freaking way. I actually just found it. That's crazy, dude. That is the luckiest thing. I didn't even have to go upstairs to find it. Like that was the easiest way to possibly get diamonds. Wow. So I've done the little like castle tower points along this whole thing. And those are just so we can get up in here and actually peek on the base owner without being seen. Like right now, look at this. Wow, we were so visible. She's building something. I think it's time for us to leave though. We got a lot done here, but it's too noisy to keep breaking these. I'm coming down. Why don't you go ahead and look inside this chest to see what that big news is, my friend. Oh my gosh. Have you made a diamond pickaxe yet? I got to make one right now. Okay. So before we go up and take it, we've got the diamond pickaxe, but to be absolutely certain we can do it because I think 11 to 10 seconds is a long time. We're going to try to get efficiency on this. So Isaac, we need to make a enchanting table. This is very challenging. And I actually just used all the sugar cane we had instead of growing and to turn it into paper. Earlier, I stole like 600 leather and then I sold it for about a hundred bucks. Dang, that's going to be the hardest thing to get too. We better find more of that but I have 18 books already made. Yeah, that's a heartbreaker. I didn't really think it through to the fact that I needed this later. And so I know that there is a sugar cane farm over here and a nice little hop, skip and a jump away. I missed. I thought that felt a little too high. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna attempt to get this obsidian. We only need four. There we go, got one. Yep, there we go. All right, I don't need that stupid recipe book on the right side to make an enchanting table. I'm a pro Minecraft player. It's obviously just like that. And now that we have it, we can also start thinking about how we're gonna make all these bookshelves. Cause right now we don't have enough wood for this. You're borderline invisible when you're in the sugar cane like this. Like that's kind of what she would see. I, I don't think, like if I can't see her, she probably can't see me too well. How many have I gotten so far? 16, that's not very many. And this sounds a little bit like rain. So I think we're gonna be able to go through. This is what I really wanna do. Yes, that's all I need. Leave the rest. The rest is there for 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 uh, cover. That is all I needed. This is my last ender pearl as well. So I hope she has more to steal because if not, this entrance becomes completely useless. We do have the start of our enchanting room right here. We just need a few more books to actually get this up to level 30. Greetings, son. Here, check it out. Where are you at? Down here. Down here, what? Because this is gonna connect to the tree farm and this is also going to be our sugarcane farm. You see what I'm saying? A multi-tiered thing so we don't have to like build out anymore. We were still pretty far off from reaching our goals, but we were slowly getting there. So we started building our own sugarcane farm to mass produce paper so we could make bookshelves. All right, we got enough bookshelves here, Zach. I think this is gonna get us to like 27. 20, yeah, not even enough yet. We still need more. But I'm only level 11, so does it matter or do we need them all? So far, my level's been really low during the invasion, so I couldn't really enchant my pickaxes. But thankfully, the base owner has a bunch of ore. So we went in, grabbed it all, and smelted everything to raise my levels. Here is what's gonna happen, Zach. I'm gonna start mass producing furnaces. I got 16 more of them, and I have so much cobblestone that we're just gonna be able to smelt it for days. Wow, this is crazy. You really put the work in down here, huh? We are mass producing XP at this point. Level 20 already. It's working. I cannot believe this is working. I've never used smelting to grow 30 levels. Level, I went from 13 to 21 in two quick uh, sessions right there, which is ridiculous. I'll come up there in a second. I'm going to finish off this little wall here, the little outside retaining wall here. Look at this. The outside retaining wall now has a miniature roof in it, so it's emergency panic tunnel for us. It does. It feels like we're in a cave now. We're back in the caves. The cobblestone doesn't do much. It's uh, There's 30. I just hit it. It's really the ore. The cobblestone probably did like two levels. The ore did most of it. So now we need to get a few more bookshelves though, and in order to do that, we need leather. So are we just going to buy the leather? I only have $45. Leather's 1,200 each. That is not gonna happen. There's no way. I'm at 1486. That's enough for one leather. Okay, the stack of diamonds are worth a thousand each. Okay, I'm up to 10, up to 10K, up to 10K. Can't you buy rabbit hide and turn it into leather? Am I crazy about that? I don't know, do it and try, let me see. I thought you could take four rabbit hide, put them into a crafting table and get a leather? Is that not a thing? It is, yes! What? Minecraft knowledge, baby. Dude, rabbit hide is dirt cheap. No way. I just found the biggest glitch on the server. Your developers probably didn't even know about that. That's a steal and I can turn that 
into 16 leather. We got 17 leather. That should be plenty. I didn't know you could do that. I bet I bet none of you guys knew you could do that. That's ridiculous. Now we just need sugar cane. 28 sugar cane just quickly harvested. Make that 29. This is quite the accomplishment. I don't know if we've ever made an actual enchanting table under somebody's base with fully maxed out bookshelves in the time that we have here. Without stealing it either. I mean, we basically got all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, we earned this. I mean, well, we did steal all the stuff to make it, but we basically earned it. I need wood. Four more bookshelves, Isaac. One problem is, did you save any lapis when you, we sold them all? <sighs> No. <laughs> Isaac. I gave it to you. Don't tell me. You sold it all. Don't talk to me. I thought you would have. You said to. I thought you would have saved one. Why does Lapis even. You didn't even need to. Ah, I hate it. We have to go up there and invade for more Lapis now? You got to be kidding me. I mean, I could buy some Lapis to be fair. I could. Oh, wait. No, Isaac. Your old Lapis block's over here. Is it hanging off the side of the base still? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go get it. Yes, sir. Yes. Make sure you cover up your oh. tracks. That's probably... Did you just mm, lose that one? That one fell off the edge. That's okay. We only need three. The strategic lapis, man. I can guarantee us an efficiency for pickaxe. Let me see what your enchantment is. If so, let me have it if yours is worse. Wait, is IV five or what is IV? What? Efficiency IV. I don't know how to read Roman numerals. Is that five or four? IV is four because it's like five minus one. This is efficiency four and I'm breaking. Now give me another axe. So let's do the other one here. So you have two efficiency four pickaxes now? Yeah. Okay, now we need to make an anvil out of all that iron that you've got from smelting. And then you can combine those two pickaxes with your levels and we'll have efficiency five. Bro, Isaac's carrying us today. Isaac's carrying us today. Whoa, it combines them. Fortune, whoa. This changes the game for future videos, folks. I just learned how enchanting works a little bit and how anvils work. Now, once we get this, we're going to have one of the most rare items on the entire server. This map will take us to even more treasure and stuff. So I'm very, very optimistic about this. Okay, as I'm going in. Any sights, any sights, any sights? Are we good? I don't know. I see her. She's, oh my gosh. It looks like she's coming at you. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We're in. Okay, did you get it? I got it. Let's go. Isaac, 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 get Isaac. Get out, We get have out. a problem. Me. We have a problem. Just get back to the base. Get back to the base. I'm, I'm already in the base. I'm already in the base. We're good, but I have a problem. There was no map. You just said you got it. I did. I opened it up. There was a chest. It had 64 emerald blocks and 39 golden apples. That is not what we came here for. Where is it, dude? Is it in one of the other chests? I'm going to go ahead and sell all these emeralds you just stole. I mean, that's a good find still, but it's not what we needed. Okay, we're up to 20k now off of that. So we did make some money, but we didn't get what we came for. You don't think she heard us and then took it out of the box and moved it or something? I don't know. It's a possibility because you made a lot of noise earlier trying to break it with that iron pickaxe. Isaac, look at chat. Selling a Halo map on AH. Halo, that's what we need. 500,000. <laughs> no way. Dude, we have 20,000 and we sold everything we had. What if you used your money and invested it in a bigger farm? We made a really, 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 really big farm. How many carrots would it take to get to 500,000? Figure that out. What's a carrot sell for? A carrot sells for $6 each. Okay, so 500,000 divided by six. 83,000 carrots. We need 5,000 dirt blocks worth of carrots and four entire harvests. That's actually astronomical amount of work. Here's the thing. She already has a massive carrot farm up there. If we could get up there and harvest that periodically. We could harvest her farm. Why don't you get here? You go harvest it, but give me some dirt or money. I'll expand this down here. That was all my money. Lavender had the map in her inventory. We had no choice but to buy it from the shop and to make enough money for it. We built the biggest farm we'd ever made in a Home Invaders video, which will hopefully make us enough money to buy that map. This is just one business. There's gotta be other things that we can do to start really speeding up the process here, Isaac, of making money. All right, guys, since we need $500,000 to afford this map, Isaac and I brainstormed just a few ideas right here. Zach, number five is all that matters. We got to get to the sniffer farm. So the first thing to get there, Isaac, would be to expand our farm, harvest this, move it downstairs, and probably increase the size of this by as much as we possibly can. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rip up the upstairs here. We need to move this down. Only $498,000 to go. We began our day with a big harvest on the farm, and we also worked on it for a little while, replanting all the crops. Our first harvest is done, Isaac. That gave us a total net profit of about almost two stacks of potatoes. If we were to sell those, we don't make a lot of money. It's about 800. Okay, two stacks isn't bad though, Zach. I mean, that's gonna double every single time we harvest if we keep expanding. So Isaac, while we wait for that, I think one thing that we could try to do is maybe get some sort of a potion farm going. Potions are tough because then we're gonna need nether wart. Soul sand is 312 each. I got eight of it for all $2,000 that I hand. And right here would be a great spot, a nice elevated soul sand farm. It'll be right outside our door. Now, we need more. We also need the crops for it. Do you have any more money to buy a few more? I have 279. How much are they a piece? More than that. Plans have changed. We might need to just invade the base. This area seems completely underutilized. Like, I feel like we're pretty safe in this spot. So I'm going to take it up here, Isaac. Careful. We're just... Oh, she's up. She's up. She's upstairs. Get in. Get out. Get in. Get out. Just get... Oh, my goodness. Potatoes to expand the farm. Okay, iron for sure. Feather falling four. Iron, 34 iron blocks. That's pretty good. And some quartz. There's just not a lot of good stuff to sell here in these chests. 
I'm moving in over here. A couple cloppers. Okay, she's coming back down. She's coming back down. Get out, get out, get out. All of that, I only made 3,900 because I kept the potato so we can invest in the potato farm. I mean, I'm going to buy some jungle logs just because I got three cocoa beans and I want to start getting some cocoa bean farm going too. We need soul sand, Isaac. I bought soul soil. You bought the wrong kind? I don't think there's any way to get rid of this either. There's no way to convert it. There's no way to convert I it. I don't know how I did that. I don't know. It's what does good. soul soil even do? Nothing. As far as I'm oh, aware. That's a tough pill to swallow. I'm not going to lie. That move. We just have to get a little bit more money so we can get the nether wart farm started. All we need is one wart. All right. There's no like great area to expand to, to be honest with you. But we'll just go ahead and build a little platform off the side here. And this is where we can put the cocoa beans and the cactuses that I just stole. 21,000. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the rabbit's foot sell for a lot. Do we need the rabbit's foot, Isaac? They're worth a lot of money. I don't know. They make, I think, Sold luck potions or something. Okay. We guess we didn't. Nope. We didn't need those. Finally. Get a single piece of nether wart for $5,000. You, my friend, will grow into a massive business. Now, while that's growing, let's go ahead and make ourselves some alchemy tables. And just like that, our very first brewing stand, part of Operation Brewdog here, makes some money. Crafting table below it, brewing stand on top of it for maximum efficiency. Okay, three cactuses. That's honestly more than I thought we would get in there. That's not bad. And then we can just expand to the right and left of this and put the actual jungle logs for the cocoa beans, like right here, I'm thinking. What do you think of this, buddy? Look at this. You already got three of them. And if you guys are struggling to get money like us and don't have a lot, you can always spend it on some brand new Loverfella merch like this right here. It won't break the bank, but it will be the best cup and the best t-shirt you've ever had. 2,000 a stack. I just bought a stack of 16 Ender Pearls for $2,000. The reason for that is because I should be able to... You got to aim at butter. the lapis, dude. Where are you aiming? There, there you go. go. I know that she was storing things in chests. Oh, this is all fully grown, too. Woo! This could be good. I don't see her. Oh, yes. 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 The potato, the potato thief comes, gets the potatoes, gets the sugar cane and gets out. That's all you got to do, folks, as a potato thief. If I'm not mistaken, this actually is also another entrance into our base. I think that if I take it up here, that's the pink tree, right, that we used. So I think that we can actually come in one side and come down the other. Now, I have a lava bucket and a water bucket, and we're considering we're on a skyblock island. I feel like we should make a cobblestone generator. So right out here seems like the perfect spot to me to actually perform this little build. We are back. We have a bunch of new crops. We didn't disturb her farm at all, so she probably won't even notice that I stole those. She'll think she stole him herself. And all in all, that run made us... $5,000, but I gotta make sure I don't sell the ender pearls. So I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily store those in here. We're looking okay. Okay, then the water comes and then they make cobblestone and there's no way. $5,000 from that. Off the carrot harvest? Yeah. That's pretty good. Usually guys, competition's a great way to motivate people to make money. So we'll have a competition between me and Isaac. We'll see, we'll, we'll give ourselves a timer. See who makes the most money in like 15 minutes and that should motivate us to get the results. Timer starts now, begin. Now there's a few ways we can approach this, but the best way that I see is actually gonna be mass bone milling all of the crops. And look how much bone meal is in front of me right now. The whole base is made out of bone blocks and I can easily get enough blocks to replace that with the new cobblestone generator that we just made. So I'm gonna go ahead and farm up a ton of cobblestone. I'm gonna make a fishing area. Maybe I can make enough money fishing. All I need is one single big ticket item. And I'm gonna build it below this. That way it's in a perfect position. So these crops keep glowing, growing. I, I forgot what I was gonna say there for, for about three minutes. Maybe what I could do is just clean it up a hair by putting down a pair of stairs right here. These will just slowly walk you down to this beautifully designed section by me. I don't want to trash my build in any way. So I'm going to see uh, if I uh, make a little bit of money here. Let's see what happens. Little... Should be getting anything anytime now. Should be coming in any second. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. That is what it's about, folks. A singular raw salmon. You go to the sell menu. What's it say? Raw salmon, $5. All right. So $5 for Zach profit already five bucks. How much has Isaac made? I've actually made $0 so far, Zach, but we're going to make a big comeback at the end. So I'm not really worried. Oh, there's all these potatoes in here. Are you kidding me? If Loverfella put those in there, that is not my fault. I'm going to sell those right away. Are you kidding me? Now we can convert all of this into bone meal. And we're also going to be selling all of these potatoes before we even get going. Okay, we're at 50 to 100. I think it should be how much you made not how much you end up with because he had more to start with so that's something to consider potatoes just got us got us up to five thousand dollars that's incredible what's up buddy dude i have so much bone meal the only limiting factor is going to be time me too I, you'd be surprised how well this fishing's working okay what does that mean though are you just trying to catch one really lucky item oh you'll see You'll see. Okay. I hope you keep trying hard. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and give up on this competition, let him think it's going. And in the meantime, I'll just get down there and just plant a couple seeds. 
We're on our second loop around the farm right now, and we still have, I would say, almost all of our bone meal. It just really doesn't use that much at all. The time has got to be about up, though, so we'll see how much Loverfella managed to make. Time is about up, buddy. All right, let me go ahead and sell my inventory, and we'll call it. All right, let's see how much you got. Let's see who made more money. All right, I got up to $13,000, $12,953 from $1,500. So I made about eleven grand. I made $42. 42, what? You gotta understand, Isaac, it's not about the competition, it's about motivating you, because we gotta get some work done. Dude, you, you just wasted time, you only made $42. No. What are you talking about? I didn't waste time, Isaac, I motivated you, and that's all a leader can do. Let's go, baby, let's go, that's what it's about right here, Isaac. Okay, well then I have a great job for you, Mr. Foreman. I have all this bone meal, but this is just so inefficient. You could make a little redstone contraption to just automate this. You can grow the crops and break them instantly. Have you ever seen one of those? This is an innovative idea, I will, I will see what I can do. I wish I had an actual iron pickaxe, but I don't. So what I'm gonna do is go for a little invade on the base. I need to steal at least some irons, hopefully some diamond. A dispenser is $15,000. So even though it's kind of weird to craft because I need a bow and some redstone, I will be crafting the dispenser. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy my single piece of redstone that I need. I'm gonna buy a little bit of string here from the shop. I think I can get some sticks because I don't think we have any wood right now. Okay, let's go ahead and make our bow and let's see where we're at. Okay. Bow, I, I made a fishing rod. How did I do that? How did I make that happen? How did I do, how, how did I do that? All right, she's so close. We're only gonna have one shot at this. We gotta choose the right chest. The chest that we think is gonna have the ore in it. I feel like this one right here is gonna have it. It does. Okay, there we go. I don't even have time to check for the rest of that stuff. I'm getting out now. Wow, I can't believe we chose the right chest out of all those. That was actually pretty crazy luck. All right, I think I have everything that we need maybe to pull this thing off. This is some sort of like weird hybrid automated, half automated system. Okay, we've got a nice little uh, platform down here that we can work from. All right, three dispensers face each other like this. We're gonna fill, I think, two of these up with bone meal, and I'm not sure which ones. I'll figure that out later. And then I think this has to face up, and I think I did that correctly. And now it's time to get all of our furnaces and stuff back out into the base, because I tore all those down during the little competition we had to make money. And I think the back wall now is just the perfect spot for these. They'll fill in this gap really nice. So I think the lever goes here. I think a little redstone goes here. And then you need some more blocks. We'll just buy a few more from the shop, because I think I just keep buying them anyway and grabbing them. So let's do a couple granites. And you do a little like this, a little like this. Let's see if that works. What I do wrong? He's pretty handy with redstone. And me personally, I can't build anything with redstone. I can hardly build a redstone door, guys. So the fact that he is taking on this project to make this automatic farm is really a big weight off of my shoulders because I was thinking I was gonna have to do it. Isaac, bring some crops down. Crops and or bones, because I'm getting bones right now for you. Okay, so bone meal loaded up in the dispensers. Hold the seed, stand here. I'm gonna turn this thing on, then you plant it, and then it breaks. Go, go, go. Oh, it's working. It's not a bad design, is it? It actually works kind of nice. If we can figure out how to slow this down, I think it could work a lot better. This is outside my skill ceiling. I cannot solve the problem. Listen, hold on, hold on. You are so good at redstone, man. Are you mumbo fella? Wu talking me will not solve it. I'm not mumbo fella. This will not work. I cannot solve the issue. When the going gets tough, go upstairs and steal some more items. You can only find hope in somebody else's house. You can make some money by stealing it all from her. She's right there. By going back downstairs because this is far too risky. Walk down the stairs. Get back up here, open up underneath the chests, and grab some new freaking items to sell. Steal the spider spawn in. Close it. Okay, let's get some more money. Let's get some more money. That's nice. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Spider spawn is gone. Sniffer eggs cost $20,000 each. So if we can produce these and then pick them up and sell them, we could sell them for 19,000 and that would be a great deal. Isaac, what are you doing in that boat? Why do you always sit in it when you grab an item? You know you don't have to do that, right? How the heck do you do it? Just shift click it. Yeah, I think that's harder. I don't know why. <laughs> Get in the um, boat, it's so funny. How much, how much money do you have right now? I have 4,800. Dang, why don't you have any money, dude? I spent it all. Gosh, we gotta get in the base then, because we gotta start making some money. We need to get these sniffers bought. I literally have no clue how we get 500K. Like, we need a miracle right now to pull this off, and she's literally sitting up there. What, wait, what is she doing? She's at the anvil right next to you. I didn't realize we built our enchanting table directly below her enchanting table. Wow, and it's level 30. We That means we could just go ahead and sell ours. That's some money right here, dude. Let's just rip this up. There's no point in paying for this. 2,500 on the AH, let's see if we get money. I just sold it. I think that was way underpriced at 2,500, but hey, that's 2,500. I'm gonna put up our bookshelves for 7,500. It seems like a fair price, because they're 3,000 each on the shop. These might sell for some money, guys. I've been looking at these and I haven't sold them. I've been eyeballing them though, but I'm gonna try to sell them anyway. 2,500 each seems like a decent price. Not too expensive, not too cheap, just enough that I can scam this player at base. Oh, it sold one already. See, and when you sell them cheap, people like them. People like the deals. I list a good deal, people say good deal, I buy the deal. That's what I do. 
Isaac, we're making some, we're making some moves, Isaac. We're making some moves. Zach, I'm gonna go ahead and just pay you all of my money so that you can see it a little bit more clearly because we need exactly 20,000. Send it over. And now we're at 36,000 total dollars, which means we just have to make $4,000 more here. Uh, and I'm hoping that we can make it here harvesting these crops. Even after harvesting everything, we still didn't make enough money. In fact, we weren't even close. So I decided to go on another invasion to try to steal something valuable. Those books were selling. I just need a few more of them. And I think it was like right here that I could reach them. Screw it, I'll just take the last three. All right, if these sell, I will have $40,000 for two eggs. I'm gonna start actually constructing the sniffer breeding facility. And these cherry planks seem like the perfect block to do that with, because we have a bunch of them and we can keep producing them with our cherry saplings. And we definitely need to make these sniffers pretty deep on the map because they're gonna show up for the base owner and they make a lot of noise. So down here at the failed farm seems like a great area to start building the new sniffer enclosure for breeding. That's how you do it, <laughs> please. No, I still don't have enough money. Oh, I think that's enough when I get back downstairs and sell a few more crops. That was so much redstone. The risk now for us being caught is off the charts from that really stupid play right there. I might, that may very well come back to bite me later. You don't make a play like that unless you're desperate. And I was desperate. Why don't you go ahead and get working on that sniffer breeding farm, folks? Cause we got ourselves two brand new sniffer eggs and I'm down to $179. Come down to the failed uh, farm down here, the redstone farm. I'm just gonna fence this in, Zach. And this is gonna be the, the location. That's deep enough. I think the base owner won't notice it. I'm getting the fences now. If you put it on a moss block, it hatches twice as quickly. Two moss blocks with two sniffer eggs. Yeah, it's a long investment, but this should make a lot of money. And it's gonna double, Zach. If we don't sell our first couple eggs, we could get four of them. Whoa, 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 oh, they're changing. Oh, they just cracked. Dude, they just cracked right in front of us. Okay, we need to get some dirt down here right away so they have somewhere to dig, Zach. That way we can breed them. I don't wanna make the area too large though, so I'll just buy a couple pieces of dirt, dig this up right here and get this place before they hatch. And then I'm hoping that this tiny area is just the perfect size. You know, tough times call for tough decisions. And I just dug myself off the edge. Luckily, I caught myself. And I'm just noticing we have created an inadvertent glow squid farm. Look at this, there's glow squids everywhere down here. This is the best glow squid spawner I've ever seen. I think it's because there's no other passive mobs on the entire map. Okay, we're at the bottom here. I'm building a platform and I've never seen anything even remotely close to this in Minecraft. This is the most incredible, look at this. It is the fastest thing I've ever seen in my life. Are we getting XP off of these two as they die? But we are getting glow squid insects. I've already got 56 while building this little platform. You cannot sell them on the shop. That is so unfortunate. I thought this was gonna be our ticket to a million dollars. What's going on? I need you to come down right away. Nobody has ever seen anything like this before. Dude, this is like an experience farm though. It's gotta be, there has to be some sort of benefit here. They're not giving experience either. I don't know what the point of this Whoa. is, but we are mass producing ink sacks right now. Listen, Listen, we're gonna make some money right here, right now. I, I think we have just discovered something accidentally by buying the rabbits, Isaac. I'm turning that into frames. I turned that into glow frames. I got four glow item frames. Do you think these would sell for about a thousand each? Can you buy them on the shop? That's what we need to figure out. Cause if you can't, they're pretty hard to get. That's what I'm saying. You can't get it anywhere. I just listed them for $8,000 for four of them. I bet you these sell. Hold on, so if we can prevent them from dying, then we can get the experience off of them. Yeah, what if you do a pool, open it up a little bit. I'll break this so that they're gonna start falling through for a second. Let's see if they fall through this. There we go, they're falling right through it. I think if we just box this in kind of like a swimming pool and then we fill it with water. And put a floor on it. Hey! Wait oh. a minute, oh wait, oh, wait, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It, just, yeah, yeah, no, it, it, needs, it needs more water and, and they This can... one's still alive. I got experience. Yes, and he gave XP. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we have the best XP farm in the game right now. Oh, Isaac, the glow item frames did just sell for $8,000. Oh, you're gonna combine them both? Yep, now we have one massive pool, Zach. The squids are no longer dying and we can just kill them now for XP. And then we can get custom enchants and stuff on the server to make tons of money. I have a stack of 64. If I could turn these into more leather item frames, I could sell this for some cash. You stay here and work on this build. I'm gonna go up and see what I can do. I'll be back. Okay. God, why? she really lives in these chests all day. Whatever project is being created right now is ridiculous. I just need to get in a little bit of diamond stealing and I'm pretty sure she has some. Oh, that was dirty. That was dirty. That's a pro home invasion tip, guys. I don't recommend that one unless you've got a couple of these under your belt. That's how you get caught and ruin your entire video after days and days of work. Got a little delivery for you coming in here. You coming down the water? Got a sharpness to your sword. Oh, dude, I already had a sharpness five. How is that supposed to help me? This was for me. Oh, okay. Well, what'd you get for me? Nothing, I nothing. Glowing sacks just sold. 
Oh crap, 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 crap. I just made a massive mistake. Uh, that's a great news. Actually, you know what? Great news and bad news. Great news is I made 25K. Bad news is I accidentally spent it all on wooden planks. 25K? That's like all of our money. Yeah, yeah it was. It was a lot. But we have a, plenty of wood now. Don't have to worry about that anymore. We didn't have to worry about wood to begin with. We didn't need wood. Oh yeah, but now we really don't have to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Now it's not a concern. All right, we've officially replanted the entire farm after I get these last two and we can go ahead and sell all of the carrots and stuff all the way up to basically 8K. That was a massive amount of profit right there. Basically $5,000 from one harvest of this. Oh, the glowing sack sold for 25K again. Man, yeah, because you literally cannot get these on Skyblock. I don't even know how we discovered that they would spawn, but nobody else is going to have glowing spawns. And look at this, gamers. Our very first harvest is I think these will actually sell for a lot of money as well, because in the shop, they sell for 5K each. Can I sell one of these for 2,500? Deal alert, Zach. We can get two pig eggs for $10,000. Those are really cheap on the auction house right now compared to what they normally cost. They're $40,000 on the actual shop. We can get them for 5k each. We could flip them. We can either flip them or we can start breeding them and we'll get a bunch of pigs down here. Oh, Isaac, our glow item frames just sold for 10k. That was the price. There we go. Industry is starting down here, guys. We took a lot of testing to get to this point. I just spent $8,000 on grass. Doesn't matter, guys. I'm rich now. I, I mean, you know what I mean? That might have been stupid. I, I'm not smart with money sometimes. Dude, can you believe this? And the cool thing is, is this is far enough underneath the base that she's not going to be able to see the cow spawn or the name tags above them. So we're very, very safe here. If you go to the shop, you can buy chicken eggs instead of chicken, like spawn eggs, like just normal eggs, and then throw them in. We'll get a bunch of chickens. You keep trying to make a farm down here. You're forgetting the goal. We don't need a farm. The more income sources we have the faster we're going to get to 500k and i'm going to get his chicken incomes what does a chicken sell for and it doesn't matter we can get arrows zach people want arrows arrows are something that'll sell uh, for the record i disagree with this philosophy this took like Isaac two seconds to build this was definitely worth the there time. is a reason i generally win on trade up i'm just gonna say that it is definitely the move just wait right up here in this player's base there's a spawner that's been there for a period of time that as far as i'm aware hasn't been used now, I don't know what it is, but I remember earlier I got magma cream from it. And so if this is some sort of magma spawner, I think I need silk touch. This is something that I am passionate about, and I would like to put my money into the pig eggs. I bought one of them. We just need to get $5,000 more and we can buy the other pig egg. I'm going to get 20 of these glow item frames and list those up for sale. I think that's a really good deal for whoever would want these. And then we'll just list these up for, I would say, $7,500, just kind of undercut lover fella so that we can get more money than him because we really need to get to the second pig egg. If I can find those books, they're maybe one inside that has silk touch then i can probably steal that and bring it back to us oh my god oh there it is silk touch all right let's make this a silk touch pickaxe there we go now i should be able to steal that Okay, so I've just put about $200 into magma creams. That way we can make some fire resist potions. Fortunately, I cannot find our redstone. I'm not sure where Loverfella put that. So I think instead what I'm going to do is actually go for a little base invade and see if we can't get any redstone. Um, I don't know if these like need a specific region to spawn in. I'm a little worried. I'm going to put it on top of this to see what happens. Like it's not going to spawn in this particular location. So we're going to maybe place it next to it. Let's see if that works. I think I hear it. Maybe. Oh, we got it. Oh, 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 it's aggressive. It can kill me. I will die. I'm going to die. I didn't expect, I didn't know it would attack me. I'm dead. All right, we're going to learn from our mistakes. We're going to break it and we're going to put it inside of a giant box. I understand now why they had it in a box because it's aggressive. We only have 16K. I really hope, I mean, we're going all in on glowing sacks and I just don't know if this is the correct maneuver for us. And I think going up right here could be the play. Look at this. It brings you right up to where her actual enchanting room is. Now what's up in here we could steal? <gasps> this is what we needed. Diamond blocks galore. I think we just found the best chest in the game. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take them all. I don't care. We're at that point, guys. I'm getting more risky. There's emeralds in there too, but my inventory's full. What a wraparound that is. I gotta tell Loverfella right away. Something's down here. We got torch flower seeds. I don't know if that's what we needed. I, I forget what we need, but I think that may be what is actually used to breed these things. So holy crap, we're making plays on plays right now. I have some great news. I just found one of the best chests in the base I've ever seen. Oh yeah, what'd you get? Look at this. Oh, the diamond chest. Yeah, that's been there for a I while. I found diamonds the diamond chest. No, no, they're not, Zach. If you convert them into actual diamonds and then go to the shop and sell, they are worth a lot of money. How much? A thousand dollars a stack. Okay, so that's like maybe 10K. It's, I mean, it'll no, help us. No, a thousand dollars of stack of diamonds, not diamond blocks, dude. Oh, okay. So like, uh, it's it's like a hundred K maybe? We could be looking at at least 50 to a hundred K. I want to make a quick infinite water source, Isaac, because even though you stole that, I stole something even better because my friend if you remember correctly there's a magma spawner that i picked up you picked up a magma spawner
one? Yeah, it was just in there, in their base. Will the magma oh my spawn, gosh. fall in the water, and flow down and give us ultimate access to magma? I understand what you're saying, but this diamond sack, and I saw there was just as many emeralds up there, these are worth massive money. The thing is, I don't know if this is even gonna work. I don't really know. Wait a minute, these are huge though. You need to like fence them in or something. Yeah. Oh my gosh, how'd he get over here? They are bouncing around. Oh, he's floating up. Get him out of here. Do these have to be the most, oh my gosh, they're gonna kill me. I have one heart. Get him away from me. Oh, he's attacking from the water. These things are crazy. Officially bought the two pigs for 10K. We now have pig production down here. We're getting all the production. The issue is they're so large, they spawn on top of it. And I don't know if they're gonna be able to wiggle their way down here or not. So, oh, they do. Oh, oh he just did. That. Perfect. They did it. So it just takes time and then we can let these things stack up and kill it. They're gonna drop magma cream and that's gonna sell for a significant amount of money. Oh, they do just sell to the shop actually for a lot of money. 17 for two of them. It's really just a murder farm down here at the end of the day, isn't it? Oh my gosh, that seems like a steal. I don't know if it was or not, Zach, What'd but I get? bought it. What'd you get? It was a thousand dollars for 64 gas tiers. Okay, maybe that's worth what worth. There are five thousand dollars a piece on the auction house on the shop. Isaac's listing in a weird way items that are cheaper than what I have. He's actually somehow hurting the existing market. One of the strangest things I've ever seen in my life. Can't explain why he's doing it. Isaac, can you? Well, if they sell, they sell, Zach. There might be some cheap bows out there that want them. Oh, they just sold, baby. Let's go. Okay. I have nine thousand dollars. How much do you have? I now have 78,000. What else could we do? We need, I think what we need right now is a looting sword. That's what we should go in on. We do, that would be nice. Cause you'd be getting a lot more magma cream. So I might go up and just check to see if I can get one of those on a level 30 enchant. Cause I have 34 levels. Okay, we're gonna go our secret invading path that Loverfella doesn't know about. You basically just go up the stairs here and then build a little staircase right here. And we're using furnaces cause that's the only block I have and it takes you right up into the base. Now, where's the base owner? Right behind me. I'm just gonna try to find a looting book really quick. I know there's an enchanted book thing right here and I'm just gonna look through them all. Come on, there's gotta be looting somewhere. Looting three, finally, I'm getting out, getting out. You got it? Yep, I'm getting out, that's all I wanted. Do you think emeralds sell for a lot of money? 1,200 a stack. Yeah, they're, they're worth a lot of money. I made like 80K off the diamonds. All right, we'll just scrap up all them emeralds. At this point, guys, we are getting desperate to make money. So I literally just stole, <laughs> I mean, probably almost 100K worth of emeralds. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's probably illegal. And I got 78K, so we're up to like 200K now almost. That's perfect. $94,000. That puts us at almost, almost halfway there. Still not. A single gas tier on the shop cost 5K and I got 64 of them for that exact same cost. So we're gonna turn all of these into actual enchanted regeneration potions. Those are gonna be crazy because everybody needs those for fighting the bosses on the server. All right, so first we gotta make the awkward potions and then we gotta chuck the gas tiers in and that will make them regeneration potions. It's just crazy, man. Every cent, every dime that I get, I'm like, oh, that'll help us. It's so hard. I'm just gonna take a couple books here and start listing some of these in the auction house. I'm gonna sell them for like 20, 2,500 each. Hey, they're selling, good. These are really lowly priced just cause I wanna get the money quick. Okay, all of the fire resistance potions are now listed for sale and our regeneration should be done in just a minute. But honestly, we should just be selling these gas tiers on the market for a thousand each, I'm thinking. You know what, no, we'll go 25K. We're really gonna give a great deal to someone. I was like, I just sold all the lapis and redstone she had, stole it all, maybe about another 20K. Wait, wait, did you turn that into actual lapis and stuff before you sold it or you just sell the blocks? Don't worry about what I did. I just sold if it. If you did it, you would have missed out on like nine times the profit. Nah, that's not true. So. That is definitely true. <laughs> what? It's not true, it's not true, it's it not is. true. It's not. Now there was a chest up there with a bunch of enchanted tools that we never really got into and enchanted tools can sell for some big money. I'm yet to see these guys dig anything up. I'm trying to figure out. How's Isaac found two items? I haven't seen one. When do you guys dig? When, when do you do it? Just right there. Okay, we're only gonna have enough time to just take three random tools. That's what I've decided. That's my limit. We can't get caught here, guys. She's not making any movements. I'm pretty sure there's tool chest over here, right here. Okay, we're gonna just take whatever we see here. I didn't have time, I'm getting out. She's moving. Whew. That was close. What did we even steal? I don't know, because I just randomly clicked on ones. Okay, so we got an efficiency five, fortune three. That's a great pickaxe. Sharpness five, diamond sword, sharpness five. Oh my gosh, these are some loaded tools right here. These should all sell. We actually just made out. This might be the new method to actually make money, guys. You got any snifflings? Oh, Isaac, I got one. Torch flower seeds. Do you have another one? Can we breed them? Yeah, I think there's one more torch flower in the bottom, Zach. Go, 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 go. This is it. We can get an egg. We can sell an egg. We'll make $20,000. That brings us up to 176,000. We invested in a rare breed and we shouldn't have done it, guys. This might work if you had more time, but we got to get this book before someone else buys it. Ready? Go. Okay. Oh, the last I one. didn't know which one you gave it to. It's behind you. Last I didn't one. want to give it to the same one. Yes. Breed. Whoa. Whoa. Breed. They're like eating each other. That's how they breed. They've Whoa. made a wall. Yes, I got it. A sniffer egg. 
Nice. It just drops like that too, huh? Yeah, that's great. It's so easy. Now we can flip this egg on the market. This is how you do it. I say oh. list it for 19,000, Zach. I want my money back out of this I as agree. Much as 19,000. If this works, this is such a legitimate strategy to make money actually, like long term. On the shop, there's something called a torch flower. I'm assuming that grows from the torch flower seeds. It's right here. It's $1,000 each. So I'm thinking if we buy two of these, right? Can I not just break these to get the seed? That's what I want to know. What did I just get there? Okay, I didn't get the seed. We did just sell a netherite axe though. Oh, hold on a minute. We're selling a few of them right now. Somebody just bought both of our netherite axes. That's awesome. Isaac, the sniffer egg sold. Really? Yeah, our sniffer egg and glowing sack just sold. I just made $30,000. Isaac, how much have you made so far? I sold a lot of tools and stuff too that I just sold. I'm up to 157,000. Now that Isaac sent me his money, I have $344,000, $493.47. cents. So we need $150,000 more and we'll get there. How do we make our last bit of money, Isaac? I mean, 150K, we could literally ransack. I mean, we could sell the magma cube spawner. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. So it's very risky. I'm gonna list some of these glowing sacks. She's still, Isaac, she's still advertising the Halo map in chat. Do you see that just now? Still 500K, that's good to see. Okay, whew. We have a cow spawner. We could sell that, Zach, for sure. That, what do we pay for that? 40K? 40. I mean, that'll probably sell for 20. About to sell it for 30. Oh, I thought you broke that without Silk Touch. I was about to kill you. Whew. That's why I got the Magma Spawner. I had to go steal Silk Touch. We could spam buy sniffer eggs for 20K each and then sell them for 19K each. No. We haven't even sold, well, we did sell one sniffer egg, right? I guess it did work. Pop them down, let them grow up, get the seeds, breed them, sell the eggs. It, but it also could set us back massively if this doesn't work. I don't know, we're so close already. Do we really need to reinvest all our money to make another 100K? Guys, after some careful consideration, we'll do it. Now, I did read online that they can only get torch flower seeds out of dirt. Does grass count as that? We'll hope. 16 eggs bought. Now, this could be the dumbest decision we've ever made in in, in what ever. It was really impulsive, but I want to make money off Sniffer, so I love it. We made the biggest gamble ever on home invaders. We were going to build an area to breed Sniffers, but I think this is the move to make us rich. Oh, this looks beautiful, actually. They look like dinosaur eggs. Now all we have to do is wait for these to hatch and grow up. All right, let's check on the sniffers up here. Where are they at? Right up in here. Any drop source? There is a drop. What is this bad boy? What do we get? Oh, we get we got another torch flower seed. Nice. Can we breed them again? Are they ready? Can they breed? Oh, they're breeding already. I feel like we just breeded these things. Let's go. Another sniffer egg. Production is going great. I think if we shove them off right here, he should fall right onto the base. Okay, we're falling with him. This is crazy. We got a blimp we're going down with. Loverfell is not even gonna know what hit him. Look up, Zach. You're gonna get crushed. This is incredible. Wow, it actually worked. What? Dude, I just took one of these as a balloon. I, I feather fall. No, don't climb back up. No way, you feather fall down with it? Dude, get him, no get him way. off there. He's trying to climb up. Dude, break open the fence. I need to get him in here before he climbs. Oh, all He's hatching. climbing. He's climbing up, dude. They're all hatching, Isaac. Look Break open. You. No, now they're getting out. No, I close it. Isaac, you're letting them out. I, I secured them to the fence. He's a balloon now. Get him and walk in. This is crazy. They're all starting to hatch. I didn't know we, I didn't know what would happen already. Walk him up this. Walk him up this. Okay, I had to get him quick. Go. There we go. There we go. Come on in. We yes! got one down. There's still Let's another go. one up there. It's crazy. Dude, if you've never used a sniffer as a balloon, Zach, life-changing experience. Are you ready, Zach? I'm ready. All right, I have slow falled him and me, so we should be able to fall down. I just gotta shove him off first though, cause they're really hard to control once they get in the air. Get off the edge. All right, he's off. Now I gotta guide him this way with the lead. You can kind of steer them and move them in the air. Yeah, it's we're like, gonna land in the cage, oh, the baby. Spawner just sold for 30K. Here we come. Life is good. Oh, it's like Mary Boom. Poppins. Oh, the perfect landing. I got him into the cage too this time. Now, guys, we're going to get AFK for the next 40 minutes while these sniffers grow up, all 16 of them. So we'll see you guys in 40 minutes. All right, guys, all 16 of these are now grown up. We've grown some levels, maxed out some items, but inside they're already spawning lots and lots of different items in here. So I, oh, wow, wow. Wow. What'd you get in there, Zach? I can't see you, you're gone. Eight pitcher pods, seven torch flower seeds. So now we can start breeding and we're gonna have to get some eggs. We're getting some breeding, baby. Operation Make Money is in activation now. How do you even know which ones you're breeding? I don't even understand. I don't either. Three eggs. Okay, I got an egg too from the two up top before I, I brought them down like Mary Poppins. So is that four eggs now? Yeah, that's four eggs already. If these all sold, that's gonna be $80,000. That's really crazy, actually. I'm gonna try to sell one of these for 19,000 and two of them for 37,000. All right, let's see if this sells, because if not, we're screwed, basically. If this doesn't sell, we are genuinely screwed. It looks like we got ourselves another harvest here, folks. 
walking around. I think we got picked up a total of seven, so we'll see. Devin, oh, I got I got an eighth one. I got one in my inventory too. Where are you at? I'll throw it in there. All of that gave us another two more sniffer eggs. So we're up to six total, which is a great little output here from these bad boys. Actually, we have uh, seven because I have a sniffer egg too. I'm going to throw this over to you. There you go. I'll take it and I'll list a three for deal right here. 55K, we sold it. We sold what? The sniffer eggs or what? We sold two two of the sniffer bundle. We sold all three. Somebody just went through and took our deals. This is going to work, guys. It's Someone working, them all. baby. Let's Someone go. bought them all. I have $163,000. I wonder if we can get some of these glow squid ink sold, just start selling them for like 2,500 a stack of 64. Just like a couple easy monies. At this point, list them for even cheaper. We have so many stacks. They're just sitting on the ground. We can't even store them. Guys, we got another harvest here of torch sap flower seeds. I also just sold some other items. We're gonna get a couple more eggs here and list them. I think that was six or seven. There's an egg. There's an egg. There's an egg. After repeating this process for another 20 minutes, we were finally on the last step of buying the map. Another egg. Oh my God, the glowing sacks. Oh, <gasps> Isaac, I scammed somebody. What do you mean? But I listed like 10 glowing sacks for 2,500 each. Then one of them, I made 25,000. And I thought if somebody would spam buy, they'd accidentally buy that one for 25K. And it just happened. That's the old FIFA technique. I love it. That's so dirty. Guys, don't do that. All right. If you're on my server, don't do it. I, I'm, I'm doing it because I because I need money, but you, you can't do it. All right, don't. Oh, potion of regenerations are selling. I told you that was a good deal. People want those because they're used for the dungeons on the server. I'm up to 54K, Zach. Oh, and somebody bought my gas tears too. Look at this. Somebody just went crazy. I'm at 421K. What do you have? 92K. Send it over. We got enough. Send it over. We got enough. Guys, we have 551K right now. That's how much we made, Isaac, from this farm and like all the other cells that just happened. This Isaac, before I buy this, I just want to say this has been a this has been the hardest trade-up we've ever done doing this under somebody's base like this with sniffers. And it actually worked in a, a decent time. The map is mine. Alright, let's see this map, dude. It's finally time. Let's do this. 